Today I'm back in York, where streets are gates, gates are bars, and bars are plentiful. And I'm here to find what is certainly the best-named street in York. Possibly the best-named street in Britain, perhaps even the best-named street in the world. Well, I don't know about that last one, there are a lot of streets in the world. I wouldn't want to commit myself and end up looking foolish. The street in question is Whipma Wapma Gate. As well as having a funny name, it's the shortest street in the city. It sounds like a scandal involving a married MP, a bag of cash, and a young woman who owns a lot of horse riding equipment, but no horse. So what is the origin? Well, first, the gate part. As I said at the start, streets in York are often called gate, and the origins of this lie with the Vikings, who famously made this their capital back when they were running around the place. In Norse, the word gata means street, so that's where this modern name comes from. But what about the rest? The street first appears in the records around 1505. It could be older, York is a very old city. But that's when we first encounter a form of the street's current name. Back then, it was called Whitnower Watnower Gate. Later on, it was known as Whitney Watney Gate. According to this plaque on the side of St. Crux Parish Rooms, the name translates in the local Saxon dialect to Water Street, and this probably wasn't entirely complimentary. It's also not clear how official this name was. In the 17th and 18th centuries, some documents refer to Salvi Rents or Salvagate. There are other theories. Inevitably, some local legends associate it with actual public whipping, possibly of vagrants, possibly of criminals, possibly of stray dogs, possibly of disobedient wives. These stories, colourful though they are, don't really make much sense. Historically, the street was a narrow alley. It seems like a very odd place to put a site of public punishment. If anything, such places tend to be wider than the surrounding streets because of the need to set an example to as many people as possible, and also because entertainment options were limited back in the day. More recent research suggests that the name actually means neither one thing nor the other, which, for a small alleyway connecting the streets of Collier Gate and Pavement, makes a certain degree of sense. Of the very small number of official addresses on the street, numbers 1A and 1.5 and are both listed, which must make it a strong contender, proportionally speaking, for the largest number of listed buildings on a single street. Not that York is short of listed buildings, of course. A survey carried out in 2021 by leasevan.co.uk declared it to be the second rudest street name in Britain after Grope Lane in Shrewsbury. I was not aware that leasevan.co.uk had a research team, but it's good to know that I can turn to them with my etymological conundrum. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, which was about as short as the road itself. It would probably have been half as long if I didn't have to keep saying Whitma Whatma Gate. If you did enjoy the video, please do click the like button and subscribe for more from me and my travels. Are there any other silly street names worthy of attention? Let me know in the comments. I would like as ever to thank my donors on Ko-fi and Patreon and here on YouTube. You are the listing to my small number of houses. And I'll see you all again very soon. Cheerio.